Hi, I'm Nikki and this is my model Alessia and today we did a golden toned smoky eye with a contoured and highlighted cheek. I'm starting out with a medium matte brown color and I'm going to dust that into the crease. I'm going to go in with a darker matte cool tone brown on a flat brush and I'm going to work this into the outer corner. I'm going to take a little bit of that same color and smoke out some of the lower lash line. I'm working in smaller layers, so towards the end we'll add more color here. I'm going to go in with a, another medium tone brown, but this one's very warm tone to bring some warmth into the eye look. Kind of patting this on the center of the lid and blending out that darker color. I'm going to highlight under the brow bone with a satin light cream shade. Then I'm going to go in with a matte black shade and I'm going to work this into the lash line. And I'm blending from the lash line upwards, focusing it on the outer corner. I'm going in with a shimmery loose powder, close for me, and I'm pressing this onto the eyelids. Focusing it on the center of the lid and then a little bit in the inner corner. And then you can go back in with one of the fluffy brushes and just kind of softly blend the edges. I'm going in with a black gel eyeliner just on the upper lash line, really close to the lashes and working in small strokes. I'm going to continue a line on the bottom lash line, so look up for me, with the black matte eyeshadow. I'm also going to take the same gel liner and tight line with that, so open your eyes and look down to the floor. I'm going to intensify the color on the lid a little bit more, so close. We just popped on some eyelashes and I'm going to go underneath the eye and smoke it out a little bit more with that really warm brown eyeshadow that we put into the crease. And I always like to clean up under the eyes with a little bit of concealer. You want to keep a little bit of smokiness under the lower lash line. I'm going to start with a little bit of cream contour and highlight and then we'll go in with powder contour and highlight after. But I'm going to start basically from the tip of the ear, turn a little bit, angling it towards the corner of the mouth and I'm blending upward. And when you blend up, you're basically lifting up the cheekbone. Once you have some basic lines drawn on, you can go in with a sponge or a brush and start blending. And like I said before, you're always blending upwards to create a lifted appearance. So I'm basically blending it until you don't really see lines. I look at cream contour and highlighting like a base for a powder contour highlight. I'm gonna do the same thing, but with a highlight color now. And I'm just focusing this on the outer corners of the cheekbones, just to kind of lift up that area. A little bit down the center of the nose, do a little bit in the center of the forehead, and then a little bit on the chin also. Before we go in with powder contour highlight, I'm going to set the face with some translucent powder and have you look up to the ceiling go right under the eyes, take away any excess shine that's under there. And then I'm going to go underneath the contour. 
going in with a cool toned powdered contour color and turn that way. We're going to just intensify the contour with this. I'm going on top of that contour with a little bit of a shimmer bronzer just to add a nice warmth to the skin. And then I am putting some blush right on the apples of the cheeks and brushing back so it meets in with the contour shade. I'm highlighting the inner corners of the eyes with a bright light champagne shade. Down. You can also highlight just down the bridge of the nose. I like to highlight a little bit above the brow. I'm going to mix a couple of the lighter shades and I'm going to highlight the cheekbones. I like to wrap it around the top of the cheekbone. I like to save the brows for last because I love the transformation of a good eyebrow. Alessia already has decently full eyebrows, so I'm going to opt for a brow pencil and then a little bit of powder on top to soften. So I'm just filling in her natural shape. I like to take the lighter one and focus it on the inner part of the eyebrow. Kind of feather it up and out and it creates a softer appearance. And then the darker one from the arch to the end. Then I'm setting with a brow gel, brushing upwards in the inner part of the brow, and then up and out. I'm going to finish off this look with a nude liquid lipstick. So I want all the attention to be on the eyes and the contour. So this is our finished look. We went with sort of a smoky, bronzy look on the eyes with a nice um, contour and highlighted cheek going on.